so we had quite uh, quite good pharmaceutical industry back in USSR, but in uh, 90s uh, it was quite destroyed. And in 2010, there was an initiative by our government. It was called uh, Pharma 2020. They started supporting uh, biopharmaceutical companies, so uh, some new biopharmaceutical companies. During these 10 years, by 2020, we had to develop certain amount of generics and biosimilars and certain amounts of original drugs. And the support was by giving some grants to the pharmaceutical companies for their clinical mainly for the clinical development, for clinical trials, because, you know, the costs, the main cost for developing of any, any drugs is clinical trials, of course. And I think that the program was successful, and that's why another program had been launched by, uh, and, and maybe not had been launched, but launched at this time. They decided to prolong this by, and called for Pharma 2030. And this Pharma 2030 will concentrate not, not on generics and biosimilars, but on original drugs. And I would say that we really made a huge step and now uh, became not only national leaders, but also we are trying to adopt international strategies. For example, Girafarm and some other companies as Biocard, and we already known in, in the world. And we start also doing clinical trials abroad in Europe and in, sometimes we will come to US probably. So I think that we, we, we have in our pipelines good candidates which would be first in class or best in class. And let's see, I think that by 2030 we will have some blockbusters as well and so we will compete with uh, European and US manufacturing companies, pharmaceutical companies.